In this video, I am going to discuss about sales variances. As now we know, we can divide the variance analysis into two parts, cost variances and sales variances. Under sales variances, we will discuss about sales price variance and sales volume profit variance. Sales variances are the differences between the actual sales revenue achieved and the expected or budgeted sales revenue for a given period. So simply this is the difference between the actual sales revenue and the budgeted sales revenue. The variance can be either favorable or adverse depending on whether the actual sales revenue is higher or lower than the expected or budgeted sales revenue. There are two main types of sales variances, sales price variance and sales volume profit variance or if we are using the marginal costing system, we can calculate the sales volume contribution variance. Now let's discuss about the sales price variance, which denotes by SPV. This is a really simple calculation. This variance measures the difference between the actual selling price per unit and the budgeted selling price per unit, then multiplied by the actual quantity of units sold. This variance is calculated to determine whether the actual selling price was higher or lower than the budgeted selling price. This is the equation we can use to calculate the sales price variance, which is equal to the difference between actual selling price and the budgeted selling price per unit, then multiplied by the actual sales unit. Now let's do this example. Calculate the sales price variance, which is equal to actual selling price per unit minus budgeted selling price per unit multiplied by actual units sold. The actual selling price is $21 per unit minus budgeted selling price. Budgeted selling price per unit is $20 multiplied by actual units sold which is this value 1800 so this is equal to positive 1800 this is a favorable value this is because the actual selling price is higher than the budgeted selling price if the actual selling price is higher which means it is favorable to the company, which is a positive impact. Here are the potential reasons for sales price variance. For favorable sales price variance. Increased demand, price increase or premium product. For adverse variances, competition, economic factors or overestimation of market demand. Now let's discuss about the sales volume profit variance, which denotes by SVPV. This calculation is also relatively simple. This variance measures the difference between the actual quantity of units sold and the budgeted quantity of units sold multiplied by the standard profit per unit. If we are using marginal costing technique, we can use the contribution instead of profit. So it will be the sales volume contribution variance. This variance is calculated to determine whether the actual sales volume was greater or less than the budgeted sales volume. This is the equation we can use to calculate the sales volume profit variance. This is equal to the difference between the actual sales units and the budgeted sales units multiplied by the standard profit per unit. Now let's discuss about the sales volume contribution variance. This denotes by SVCV. This variance measures the difference between the actual quantity of units sold and the budgeted quantity of units sold multiplied by the standard contribution per unit. This variance is calculated to determine whether the actual sales volume was greater or less than the budgeted sales volume. This is the equation we can use to calculate the sales volume contribution variance which is equal to the difference between the actual sales units and the budgeted sales units then multiplied by the standard contribution per unit. Now let's do this example. We have to calculate the sales volume profit variance and sales volume contribution variance. So sales volume profit variance 
actual sales units which is this amount 1800 minus the budgeted sales amount which is this amount 2000 multiplied by the standard profit per unit so the profit is equal to selling price minus total cost per unit so the selling price here we have to consider the budgeted values so the budgeted selling price per unit is 20 and the budgeted absorption cost per unit is 16 so 20 minus 16 which is equal to 4 dollars this is the standard profit per unit so 4 this is equal to negative 800 dollars which means 800 adverse now let's calculate the sales volume contribution variance this is equal to actual sales minus the budgeted sales multiplied by the standard contribution per unit so the contribution is equal to selling price minus all the variable costs here we also have to use the budgeted amount so the budgeted selling price is 20 and the budgeted marginal cost per unit is 12 so this is equal to 8 dollars so the standard contribution per unit is equal to 8 dollars this is equal to negative $1,600 which means $1,600 adverse. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.